guys so i hope you had a really great christmas if you celebrate christmas um and if not then i hope you've had a really nice week today i'm gonna do a what i got for christmas video because people keep asking for it um i'm not gonna do a big disclaimer though if you don't like watching what i got for christmas videos then please just click off this now there's no point complaining about it because you know exactly what this video is from the title so that's all I'm gonna say. Now I'm not gonna say who got me these presents, I'm just gonna show you everything and I'm gonna do presents first and then like sweets and chocolates after, even though they were also presents, but like it's just easier that way. So the first thing I got and the biggest thing I'm gonna show you first is this, which is a suitcase, which I know is a really, really random present. Um, it's the Killstar, um, I think it's called Casket Cutie or something like that case. So it's a coffin shape like this it's like a little hand luggage size it has a bat on it there and it zips around plain on the back but yeah honestly i don't really know what i even want this for because it's not like i go on holiday a lot or anything but i just thought like i don't know if i go stay somewhere or something um, it's very very cute so that is the first thing I got and the next larger thing I got to get it out of the way is this sourpuss um, coffin shelf now a lot of these things I did kind of buy myself and then give to people to give me so I knew what they were but that is fine so this again is a little coffin shape and it's just a shelf to put little oddities and whatever on so that is very very cute i like this so that's probably the two largest things that i've got everything else is here in this box next to me so i got some new vans i have worn these already yesterday um my old vans i went on a theme park water ride and they like bleached them white for some reason so they looked really gross these are now covered in dog hair already but just some normal black vans then I got this, which is a witch's brew cauldron mug. I have a million mugs. People need to stop buying me mugs because it's becoming a real problem. But it's very, very cute though. Looks like this. Then I've got some pyjamas. These are actually the only pyjamas I got this Christmas, which is weird. Usually I get like loads. Um, and they're little Jack Skellington ones. So the bottoms have his face on and some little bats like just shorts and then the top is like this like a little tank top which is very cute i got some killstar clothes so again i did pick these out myself i've not actually tried them on yet so i'm hoping that they fit um but these are the taylor leggings so they're like um they're like a, a fake leather but I don't know it's a really weird material it's like really rubbery and on the front they um lace up all down the front which is cute i think they're high-waisted they look pretty high-waisted but there's those and um, then i got this t-shirt this is a men's t-shirt but i don't know it's cute and i liked it so it's this one i think it's this one's called In Like Sin. It's in an extra small. It is quite big still, but that's okay. So that is one top. And then the other top that I got is this one. I actually expected this to be a little more covered up. It's quite open. Um, you can't see it very well on the camera, but it has like little arm um, bits. But the front here, where this is is just totally open there's no like bit to hide anything but it's cute though so that is that then next i got a new hair dryer because mine keeps overheating and just stopping working so this is just um a babyliss one vintage glamour then i got two books so the first one i got is day of the dead dot to dot so this is like an adult dot to dot with loads of these in here and then the next one i got is this one which is super pretty it's called art of coloring disney villains and 
and it's a hardback and it's just a colouring book but it's like really, I don't know, really cute, I like it. So it does have some words in there at the front as, and the back as well. I'll try and kind of go through some of these, maybe it'll show up on camera. So it's basically just loads of really detailed Disney villains to colour in, which is very, very cute. I'm already running out of space on the floor to put things, so I might have to start putting them back in the box in a second. Um, but next I got a mystery box. Now this is, um, I think it might have been called the occult box or something like that. I'm not going to show you what's in here right now because I'll just do a whole separate video on it. There is a lot of stuff in this and I've never had this before, so this was one of my presents, but I'm going to do a separate video on this. So if you want to see this, then this should be coming soon. Then I got some little um, Day of the Dead nail files, the like little mini ones. Got this. <laughs> this was something else that I like chose and bought myself. Um, at first I was going to take this fake plant out of here and put a real plant in it. But I don't know, I kind of like it now. I'm not sure if it'll fit on that shelf maybe. I think it might be a little bit too big. But um, this is a little poison apple fake plant thing then I got this little pin badge which says we are the weirdos mister on there I got a little bath set which is a Nivea one um, it's got like two shower gels and a little bath lily thing in there again I think this was the only like bath stuff that I got this year which is fair enough then I got this um, gel eye mask, a little Maleficent one. So it has like a pad inside it and I'm going to assume you can freeze the pad maybe or heat it up, I'm not too sure. But that's very cute. You could also just take the pad out really and use it as like a sleep mask. Then I have some of these really cute little boxes that my mum put stuff in. Um, and they are very, very random, just like little stocking fillers. So I've got some scratch and sniff grape stickers. Now, grape is my weakness. I absolutely love things that are grape scented. I don't even really like grapes as long as it's um, like a fake grape scent or taste. I absolutely love it. So I have some grape stickers and then... I have some of these cute little nail files with Cruella de Vil and Ursula on them. Little villain nail files. I have this, which is a soap, and it's chocolate scented. It smells really good, actually, and apparently when you open it, this lid... In fact, you know what? I'll open it now. Apparently there is a little skeleton in here, so let's have a see. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm scared of. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so... Oh, it's got... Oh my god, that smells amazing, like cherry chocolate. Oh, it's really creepy. Okay, so it's not a whole skeleton, it's like bits of a skeleton. I know that's not showing up at all on camera. There we go. It's like his body. And then there's some arms and stuff in there. So that is this little soap. Oh my god, it smells amazing. And then I've got this little box, which has a little jack keyring in it. Oh, I'm getting soap everywhere now. If that wasn't a good idea. One minute. It's this little jack keyring. I feel like that soap is melting a little bit, which is weird my room must be a bit too hot okay then next I got a pusheen cup I think I'm gonna take this one to work because it's pretty cute and it's got some socks in there as well apparently there is um, four different ones available and I have the little rainbow one so he is a very very cute I think that one's probably my favorite one to be honest this one and the mermaid one then I've got this which is a spinning tea light holder 
Now, I do actually have this out and set up. It came all like in little bits, so I will film a little section now to show you what it looks like. It's like a pumpkin and it spins round when it's got a tea light in it. Then I got some little makeup bits. So the first thing I got is a Lunatic Cosmetics Labs palette. This is the Supernatural palette. So looks like this. It's like the pinks, pinky red kind of colours. And, and then in this little bag, there's three things in here. So there is a Medusa makeup setting spray, like a little mini. There is an OCC lip tar in the colour... what colour is this? Why does it not say what colour it is? It says interlace, but I feel like that's not what it was called when I got it. I'm not sure. And then I also have a Lunatic Cosmetics um, lipstick in the colour AK47. Now I've never had this one before and for some reason this one's gold when the rest of mine are black. But I think this is my favourite colour one. I have tried it out already. It's, um, I'll do a little swatch. It's quite a brownie kind of colour. Like a brownie purple. But that's AK47. Then another random little stocking filler that my mum got is um, these like stress ball things. I do have another one of these, but it's one of those that does this. <laughs> it has like orbies in there um, and it also lights up if you hit it. I don't know if that's showing up, but... Some of those. So maybe I'll just keep the box and take him out of it because he is adorable. That is a little Sam. Then I got this little like bucket thing with a spider on it. And in here it has loads of wax melts that are little creepy shapes. So they're like, I can't really see to be fair, but they're like bats and ghosts and pumpkins and stuff. And there is loads in there. And they smell amazing. I'm not sure if they're all different scented and stuff. I'm going to assume so because they're different colours. But little wax melts in there. Then this I got actually from my boss, which is cute. Um, it's a little Liz Earl hand lotion. It's called Orange Flower Hand Repair. So that was very nice of them. I got some fluffy like slipper sock things with little Christmas hats on. I got this candle which is called Apothecary Number no. 4 Grapefruit and Orange. It's in a glass bottle and it smells absolutely amazing. It really is a super super strong grapefruit scent so that's nice. And then I got another Killstar cup. Now I've had a few of these before from Killstar. This is the design of this one. It says Moonshine at the bottom. And it comes with a black straw as well. Um, but like I said, I've had a few of these now and there's always something wrong with these cups. Like, they break so, so fast. So I'm not sure why I keep getting them. But I just love the designs of them. So hopefully this one doesn't break. Because I've had the Witch's Potion one. And I've had the um, You Say Witch Like It's a Bad Thing one. And both of those have broken without me doing anything to them. So... Hopefully this one lasts, otherwise I'll be very angry at them. I have complained to them before, but they don't seem to care, which is kind of annoying, because they're not cheap, like, cups, so I got that. Then I got this makeup brush cleaner, where you, like, put your brush in this handle and it spins around and cleans it, which hopefully will be very helpful, because... Usually I just wash them on my hand and I end up burning my hand, so that's cool. I got this from my friend, a little Ouija board um, holographic makeup bag. It's showing up really badly on camera because it's super rainbowy. Um, but in person it's kind of just silver with a Ouija board on it and then the planchette is the zip. I think this was from Attitude Clothing in case anyone wants to know where it's from. 
Then I've got some socks. So I've got some Cruella ones. Some Evil Queen ones. And then some with a few of them on there. Let's say Bad Girls, which are very cute. Then I got Spyro, the new PS4 game, which I'm excited to play. I've not played Spyro since I was like little, so hopefully I'm not really awful at it. And it's the original three games remastered, it says. So that's cool. I apologise this video is so long. I'm genuinely trying to do it like as fast as I can, but um, yeah. So I got more of these cute little boxes. There's like a little skeleton one and stuff. And I got these. Oh no, they're all falling off. There's two bracelets in here, but I'll just show you one of them. With these two little charms on. So the back one with a heart and a little spider and um, they are like sterling silver and stuff and i'm gonna get a black bracelet silver bracelet to put them on as well it came with this one um and for anyone that wants to know they are from this brand they do like little ghosts and pumpkins and skulls and stuff as well so they're very very cute then this is another little random box that i've got so i've got some of these nails look like this they have like a reddy orange crackly effect at the tip of them i've got this which is avon kids um groovy grape body wash because of my love of grape and it smells amazing i've got some little um grape lip balm a grape California Scents car air freshener has a little scratch and sniff thing on the top and it smells insane um, some King Grape interior scent I think this is for your car again but you could do it in your room I suppose looks like this <laughs> I just like grape okay <laughs> like what can I say um, and then this, which is very, very random. Um, it is, I think it says scented glitter putty with wristband. So this is like slime, like glitter slime with a wristband around here. And it's supposed to smell of grape. Got a little grape on his head. Got another cup. Um, this one I chose myself. It's a little villain's one from the Disney shop. got like um, a pearlescent colour into it but it's not really showing up on camera for some reason and inside it says villainous and fabulous then I got some books these are villain tales it says every story has good and evil and there is four in here so there is um, Mistress of all evil, the beast within, poor unfortunate soul, and fairest of all. Now, I do have a few books like this, but they're not from this series. This is a totally different series, so that's cool. Um, and they seem quite thin books, so hopefully I will actually get around to reading these at some point. Because they look very cute, and I love Beauty and the Beast, so... I'm going to assume that maybe they go in an order, though. Um, so I'll read them in order. Then my absolute weirdest present is this. I know some people are gonna complain because some of you always hate stuff like this, but my parents go to this like antique place and they got this from there. Um, so that's where these have come from. Um, and maybe some of you can actually help me with what these are because I have no idea and the labels have fallen off. But this is my very weird present, which is lots of insects in like resin so down here there's three names um it says giant scorpion giant centipede and stick insect under these ones but the rest are missing so i'm gonna get them out and show you and then maybe some of you can help me like with what they are 
So the first one is this one. I would assume that is like some kind of dung beetle kind of thing. I think he's my favourite. I don't know why. He just looks really cute. Then we have this one. This one. This one. This one's creepy. I don't know why, but there's something creepy about this one. This one, which kind of looks like a grasshopper to me. This one, which I'm going to assume is a scorpion. This one. This one, which I think is the stick insect. This one. And this one. So that's definitely the weirdest present that I got. Um, some of these smaller ones though, I'm going to put on that coffin shaped shelf that I got earlier like what I showed you first so I think that that's all the presents I got so now I'm going to show you just really quickly the like sweets and stuff I got I know some of you genuinely don't care about this stuff but a lot of people have asked me to make this video so I'm going to show you everything so I got a gingerbread house build I got a bag of um, seashells these are my favorite chocolates or one of my favorite chocolates um, so there is like original latte macchiato, caramel, biscuit, milk truffle, there's like loads of different versions in here. And I have this giant bag of chocolates and sweets. So I've got some Turkish Delight. I don't know if all countries have this, but basically this is lemon and this is rose. And they're like a jelly kind of stuff with icing sugar on. I've got some caramel candy corns. We don't have candy corns in England, so one of my friends bought these from America. I got Matchmakers, Cool Mint, and Zingy Orange. I'm going to be so fat after Christmas. Um, my friend gave me these candy canes, but they are cinnamon flavoured, and I really hate cinnamon, so I've not been eating them, but they look cute though. I've got... Um, an M&M's and Friends little selection box. I've got this cute little unicorn, which is a white chocolate unicorn. I've got some grape Laffy Taffy off one of my friends. Some Mike and Ike's grape and berry black. She also got me some great fans, but I already drank those. Um, got this little selection of American chocolates. We don't have these here either. We have Reese's here, but not the other ones. Um, some milk tray, which are just like a selection of chocolates. Some jelly tops. I love jelly tops. Some great pop rocks. And finally, a big box of mint chocolates. These are like some of my favourites. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I got for Christmas. Like I said, I apologise this video is so, so long. Um, and I hope you all had a really, really great Christmas. If you did, let me know down below what you got for Christmas or if you've got a video that you've made like a what you got for Christmas, let me know and I'll try and give them a watch. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And if you did, please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.